Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the conservation of momentum in two dimensions. Remember that momentum is a vector, so I can draw that as an arrow, we can call this P, and therefore it can be turned into components, PX and PY. And if there is a Z component, then there can be a PZ. Now, each of these momentums is really just the product of mass and velocity. So, I can write these momentum components as mass times Vx or mass times Vy. And conservation of momentum in two dimensions just requires that I realize the x initial momentum will be equal to the x final momentum. And the y initial momentum will be equal to the y final momentum. If I was to expand this out, then it would look like m1 v1 x0, crazy, m2 v2 x0 equals m1 v1 x plus m2 v2 x. And then the exact same thing here, m1 v1 y0 plus m2 v2 y0 equals m1 v1 y plus m2 v2 y. But really, you can just kind of memorize the x and the y components of momentum are conserved, and you should be able to sort of fill out the equation uh, using that. At some point, you'll come back together and try and recombine your momentum components, uh, oftentimes simply to get a velocity. Um, and that's what we're going to do in a practice problem right here. Okay, so here we have two billiard balls, each of mass 0.16 kilograms, uh, and they are in a collision as shown below. We want to find the magnitude and direction of ball B after the collision if it was initially at rest. So this ball is going to be moving somewhere along some angle with a velocity, which I'm going to call VB. And we need to find both the angle and magnitude of that velocity. So I'm going to start by taking a look at the x momentum. In the beginning, only ball A has a momentum because of this 15 meters per second. So I would write MA times, we can call this VA naught. And then ball B is at rest, so there is no momentum uh, in any direction for that object. Okay, then after the collision, Ball A is moving 10 meters a second at 53 degrees, uh, which means that there's going to be an x component to this velocity, which if I was going to draw that x component, would look something like that, VAx. And of course, VB would also have this component. Um, if I draw VB over here, to make it look a little easier, here I'll draw it as the hypotenuse. I know there's going to be some x component to that velocity. And the momentum of b in the x direction would also be added together so that we have a conservation before and after. Uh, we actually have enough information to, to solve what the x component of VB is, so, so let's go ahead and do that. To find VBx, I would first subtract MAVAx, then I would divide both sides by the mass of B. Okay, doing this, I would find that the velocity of x, uh, and I can factor that mass out, is going to be 0.16 times 15 meters a second minus, okay, so now i got to figure out in, what VAx is. Again, remember, you draw this as a right triangle, and VAx is adjacent. So you would say that VAx, I'll write it up here, is VA times cosine of, we'll call that angle A, for 53 degrees. So 10 meters per second cosine, 53 degrees. 
and then you divide that by the mass of B, 0.16 kilograms, which that's actually going to go away. If I wanted to write this in terms of M, I could probably get a cancellation there. So 15 minus 10 cosine of 53 is 8.98, so we'll call that 9 meters per second. Okay, so we found VBX. VBX is 9 meters per second. Now what we need to do is figure out what will VBY end up being. To find this, we are going to take a look at the Y momentums. Since we already found VBX, I'm going to get rid of all this. Now let's look at the Y momentums. In the beginning, there is no Y momentum because uh, ball A is moving to the right. It's not moving up or down. However, at the end, there's going to be a Y momentum, which we can call VAY. And VAY is opposite of 53, so we would write VA sine, we'll call that theta A. And I forgot to call this B, so I'll write that there. It's what would go here. Okay, so I would have um, MA times VAY, that upward momentum, plus MB times VBY, the component of momentum that goes down. Uh, what do we want to find? We want to find VBY, so I would subtract MAVAY, negative. and find VBY by dividing both sides by MB. So negative MA, VAY over MB. This is gonna give me negative 0.16 kilograms times uh, VAY is uh, 10 meters per second times sine of 53. And then I divide that by the mass of B, 0.16 kilograms. The mass is going to cancel out. So basically just negative 10 sine of 53 and negative 10 sine of 53 is going to give me 7.98 so we can basically just call that 8. Negative 8 meters per second. So I'm going to write that over here, negative 8 meters per second. Okay, so now that I know what the velocities are, I can um, put them back together to figure out what the magnitude of VB is because it's basically the hypotenuse of this right triangle. And the same thing for finding the angle. Get rid of all this. To figure out what VB is, um, I would use the Pythagorean theorem and the square root of VBX squared plus VBY squared. So uh, negative eight, I'm sorry, negative, just positive nine meters per second, the whole thing squared plus negative eight. That negative is going to get squared. So this will give me 12.04, so we'll call that 12 meters per second, so that's the magnitude. And the angle, I'll write it up here, uh, the angle would be tangent inverse of the y component, the opposite over the uh, adjacent, right, because tangent is TOA. So VBY, the opposite component, over VBX, the adjacent component. All right, this would be tangent inverse of uh, VBY is negative 8, and VBX is 9. This will give you negative 41.6 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to check and see if that makes sense here with this angle, and it does. It's a negative angle, which means it is below the unit circle, um, and it's not in the third quadrant. So it's in the 
sorry, not in the second quadrant. It's in the fourth quadrant, um, which means that the, the negative is correct. That's a, a correct angle, a unit circle angle for this answer. All right, so the magnitude is 12, and the direction is negative 41.6 degrees. Congratulations, you just did a conservation of momentum problem in two dimensions. You're done.